All right, here we are. It's actually happening as promised. Front Pixel Tech is back, baby, but only for one day. This is a one-off, one-off thing. Today, we got your first exclusive look at the upcoming Google Pixel Watch. It's real, and this is not clickbait. Might be the best smartwatch I've ever seen. I will give you $10 if you subscribe right now. That's actually not true, I lied. But subscribe anyway and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next episode. <laughs> Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech. Today, Front Pixel Tech, FPT, Fapata, the show that gives you all the latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Uh, for all you normal FPT viewers, you come back every day because you're the best. <laughs> just to let you know, this is not a normal episode of Front Page Tech. Today we're just covering the exclusive Pixel Watch stuff, and then in another day or two, you'll get another normal episode. All right. Let's do this. Consider this like a an FPT special report. All right, let's talk about this Pixel Watch. Now, I gotta be honest, I haven't really been following the rumors. I haven't been paying attention to a lot of this Google stuff, but last I read somewhere on the internet, I'm sure, the Pixel Watch project at Google had been canceled-ish. I mean, I don't know, right? I'm just a YouTube guy. Uh, but from what I saw, I don't know if I would call that canceled. According to sources, the whole watch project over at Google is codenamed Rohan, and it's actually not that far from release. Now, if you're new here, or you just remember me as the Pixel 3 guy from a few years ago, <laughs> yeah. You're probably wondering about my more recent Google track record. To catch you up, my Pixel leaks last year for 2020 were nearly 100% accurate. Of course, letting you know about products before they were released, giving you exactly when they would be announced and released, like exact dates, along with images before launch. But of course, as always on this show, I encourage you to not just take my word for it. So I'm gonna give you your first look at the watch today. Let's take a look together, but then keep your eyes peeled. Keep keep looking out there, paying attention for any other leaks or hints that you might get from other outlets leading up to a more official release. And here it is, the Google Pixel Watch. And I know, I know what you're feeling right now because when I saw this for the first time last week, my jaw dropped. Now we're gonna take a much longer, closer look at stuff. And I know you have questions, so let's start with this. If you are familiar with my Apple hardware leaks, then you, you know how I typically do things. For instance, like when I leaked AirPods Max and AirTags back in September last year, you remember how those were done. Effectively, a source may give me pictures or videos of a product and then ask me directly that I don't share them, like that I don't publish those exact pictures to the public, which is absolutely totally understandable and my first priority is to always protect the source. In this case, the source for the Pixel Watch stuff came to me and gave me a lot, like a ton of images of the watch but then asked me to not publicly share them, but did give me permission to have renders made. So just as I did with our Apple hardware leaks, I gave all of the images, and I think I had more images of this than I've ever had images of anything else. I gave those to a 3D render artist who then recreated everything in high res, that way everyone wins. You get to see a product for the first time and we get to protect our source. The renders in this episode were all created by Renders by Ian, who is like mind-blowingly crazy talented. After I would put out other renders or other leaks, I would just sort of casually catch him in my Twitter feed uh, publishing his own renders, just his own take on things. And seeing that, seeing his work really caught my attention, it caught my eye, so I reached out and I am glad that I did. I'll make sure to leave a link down in the description below to his Twitter. Toilet Squad, head over there and show him some love for this amazing work. But of course, now you're probably wondering what I personally think, as well as what other details I have for you in this episode. And I'll tell you, right after this sponsor break. If you watch this show, then you already know, I love WeVPN. And right now, it's their birthday. Woo! Happy birthday, WeVPN. 
It has officially been a full year since the guys at WeVPN left their day jobs over at those other VPN companies to instead create one of their own that they truly believe in. A super fast, super safe and secure VPN that actually puts its users first. And right now to celebrate their birthday, they're offering you the lowest prices they ever have. They're like, Happy birthday to us. Sure, we'll take less money. Get a two year plan at 73% off with two months free for just $2.69 a month. <laughs> 69. Even better, if you're watching Front Page Tech right now, you can get an additional 10% off just by going to wevpn.com slash FPT. WeVPN allows you to be protected and secure online, lets you unlock content from all of your favorite streaming services, and unlike the other guys, they don't keep any of your logs, so not even they know what you're doing. Out of a sea of VPNs all over the place, WeVPN is the only one that I truly believe in. So to get started today or to make the switch, link down in the description below, wevpn.com slash fpt extra 10 percent off oh hey there welcome back all right so what do i think well first i can confirm from the branding that i personally saw that the naming is google pixel watch although as i said according to the source the project is internally codenamed rohan and i mean Let's be honest, right? Just not as like a YouTuber leaker person, just as a Google fan, me seeing this, it, it looks too good to be true. So much so that if I hadn't seen the branding myself in those real images, I would have just assumed this was like an upcoming watch from Samsung or literally anybody else. But nope, it's from Google. The marketing that I saw on images, on paper, uh, teased it as round, bezel-less, bringing unity to software and hardware. So I think it might be fair to assume that this might be part of Google's in-house silicon. Wear OS is also getting a facelift. Now, for these renders, not only did we recreate the hardware, but it's important to mention that I also had Ian recreate some of what we saw of the software in marketing. For instance, this is an official watch face. Like this was plastered all over the marketing that I saw. At least this was our best attempt at recreating it. And this is a recreation of what we saw within the heart monitor UI. Like I said, we did our very best to recreate what we saw in those images, but I'm telling you what, what I saw in the real images was super, super clean and yes the display panel is like perfectly round it's completely round there's no weird like flat tire at the bottom no weird bezel stuff it it looks just as good as you see in these renders probably better oh and for the press for the media that wants to go ahead and cover this write articles about this don't worry about taking weird screenshots of this episode down in the description i have a link uh, where you can get to a full folder of all of these images like full res quality images uh, that you can use in your articles okay so the watch is cool uh but also the bands pretty cool too the source tells me that there will be something like 20 different band options for this thing but we did our best to recreate one of them because in the images we saw something that looked super unique so we wanted to try to show you here this one in particular has like ridges on the inside of the band with a locking mechanism that sort of fits inside one of those giving you your desired size for your wrist along with the images that we worked with like in the official marketing google used language like your world at a glance, your route at a glance, your agenda at a glance, and your health at a glance. So it's obvious what Google is trying to achieve here. Something simple that gives you a quick look at things without trying to overwhelm you. And from what you can see here, it's a pretty clean UI. I'd say they did that and it's very unlike Google. And even though we had a lot to work off of here, like, like I said, we had a lot of images, they're still personally questions that I have. I mean, obviously I knew enough, right? To be able to show you what it looks like and you know, what I was able to gather from the marketing information, but the marketing info didn't dig like super deep. It was just surface level stuff. So as far as specs, I, I don't know. I literally don't know. As far as release, and this one can be tricky because Google is Google and they could always Google it up. But I was told that we would see this sometime in October for a release, which is honestly sooner than I thought, but I was also warned that it may be pushed for whatever Google reason Google can come up with. You might remember last year that I kept you up to date almost in real time, every time Google changed that launch date for Pixel 4a, all the way up until we finally had the locked on August 3rd date. But if you ask me, sure, I think we can safely expect this 
sometime in October. So like, try not to get your hopes all the way up. You can, you can have them a little bit up, but not all the way. It's like, don't go full boner. You don't need a full boner right now. That's what I'm saying. Just, just like half mast. That'll work. You know, you know. So let's talk about this. Let's discuss it down in the comments. I'm curious what you think. Are you interested? I mean, I, I this isn't gonna make me believe my Apple Watch, like, at all. But it does look really, really nice. And I'm sure that something like this will really let Google show us what they think an Android-focused smartwatch should look like, should feel like hardware and software, and maybe that'll help steer other manufacturers in the right direction. I'm excited for this. I'm excited to see it. Whenever and if ever Google actually follows through and announces this. But there you go, internet. As always, it's my job to get you the info, give you your first look, but after that, I'm done. All right, it's up to you what you wanna do with that info. Enjoy. Enjoy.